Hi, this is Larry, and uh, this is the 1994 Subaru Sambar DS2. It's a four-wheel drive supercharged car. Um, and uh, this car only has uh, about 79,000 kilometers, which is about 50,000 miles, um, just under 50,000 miles. Um, it's four-wheel drive. It's uh, all, you know, all-wheel drive, so you don't have to turn it on and off. It's always there. Um, it's got the roof that retracts and the sunroof. Um, so that makes it really nice. Uh, um, and then I'll just walk you around it so you can get a nice look. Um, I'm not sure if I'm keeping this one or selling it. Um, everything's in good condition. There's a few little rust spots here. I'll point those out when I go through it. Uh, but you can see it's all there. It's interesting thing about this one is that it's faster than normal. This is a supercharged model, but this one has what's called a... Akabo or Red Hat motor, and I'll show you the motor after, in a little bit. But um, it has an Akabo motor, uh, which I think um, you know is like an aftermarket, uh, uh, you know, uh, cylinder head or and stuff that they put on it. So um, yeah, it's definitely it's faster than normal. Um, I haven't gone through the we haven't put the car in the lift yet to uh, find out exactly what all has been done with it, but. Uh, it's definitely been um, modified slightly, as far as we know. So it drives really well on the highway. So, um, yeah, let's take a look inside really quick. Uh, so this has the roof. It has the sliding. Um, this one, yeah, you slide it manually. And uh, so that's the, uh, the sliding sunroof. And then you can lift it here. It's already lifted and closed, and it has the, uh, the sliding things. Although the uh, the... The rails on it, you probably can't see them, are a little messed up, so it's the the blinds aren't so good, but you know, I never needed it because it's already tinted. Um, let's see, I'll go through here. Uh, it's you got I have everything on. Um, you can see uh, it's got 78,000 kilometers, so it's just under, it's like 48,000 miles or 49,000 miles. Um, <coughs> ETC, which is utterly useless for the USA, but uh, and then the biggest draw of this car, and uh, what makes it unique among many uh, other Sambars is the uh, rotating front seats. So there's a little button here. I'll show you down there. You push a little button here down, and then the whole seat part lifts up there. And then uh, yeah, there's a little mark you slide it up to. There's a little mark, but essentially it's all the way forward. So you pick that up, pick this up and slide the seat forward. You, you slide the seat forward to the mark, and then um, you hit this button down here, and then the seat will rotate. And uh, you also have to slide the seat down, and then it'll rotate. Both seats do this. And then this comes down here and locks. And then so you have a, the reversing front and back seats. So it makes it really nice to use. You can uh, fold these flat and it can become a table if you want. Or you just can put a table between you guys or a box or something and eat together. Um, so that's a really nice feature of this car, which makes it unique um, compared to the other ones. And then uh, when you're done, you hit this again. This comes up, you hit this rail and it'll rotate, and then you have to move this forward. You can rotate it right back. You go slide that forward, and then that's it. The whole thing is working. Um, yeah, it's uh, it's a fun car to drive. This one is much faster than uh, I expected, <laughs> and it's a five-speed as well with the extra low gear. So if you look here, uh, you can see that it says EL for extra low. So it's really a six-speed. Um, so it's good with four-wheel driving and stuff like that. Um, so it might be perfect for Colorado. Oh, and it has electric windows. Let's see, I'll get these to work. Oh, I have gear. But yeah, you, these go down electrically. So you can see right there. And then it's this one's locked, but it, it works once you start it. Let's see. Let's see, no problem. Yeah, so that's really good. It's got a lot of uh, the conveniences that so others don't. Air conditioning is ice cold. And that's uh, It's been wonderful because it's very hot right now. 
me go show you the motor really quick while I'm here. Um, you open this up. Flick the switch, and this comes down. It's a little iffy, and then you have to pull up on it, and then the whole thing will come down. So you can see it's, there's supposed to be some kind of shield here, but it's an aftermarket muffler. Um, so I don't know why it's not there or if they didn't want it, but um, it has what's called a red hat, uh, a red hat, like, valve cover, plus something on the, uh, the, the timing uh, belt cover as well. I'm not sure exactly what's going on with it. We're going to check it later, but uh, the car is much faster than usual. So, um, but the motor works. I mean, everything is good. There's, uh, let's go over the, the rust spots. But anyway, so this goes up here. It's hard to do by one hand, uh, but I can get it, I think. Oh. <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> I'll deal with that later. <laughs> but uh, there's a, uh, you can see they, they tried to deal with some rust spots. They don't go through, but they spray painted them roughly. Um, and there's some by the, the thing here, but it doesn't go through, thank God. Uh, there's another one here. Um, that's it. None here at all. Or underneath or anything like that. Underneath is clean as well. Um, I'll try to get a picture of that later. Um, let me see. Nothing in the front as well. Um, other, maybe just, uh, oh no, it's just dirt. Um, around the windows, everything's good. Door jams are good. Uh, here's good. Um, oh yeah, here's the one. There's one on the door right here. Nothing goes through. It's all light surface rust. Um, and the paint is pretty flat. So, uh... Oh, and then there's just something under here. Again, nothing goes through. Um, it's just surface. All of it. So, uh, typical K car. They use cheap paint on them. Because they were cheap cars, so... But, uh, otherwise, um... <clears throat> car, <laughs> I love it. it. It drives so good. So... But uh, anyway, that's the uh, Super Sambar DS2. Uh, you can see supercharged, all-wheel drive um, with the roof. So really fun. Oh, I forgot to show you. Did I show you the guys the roofs? I don't think I did. I'll show it to you right now. Just a minute. That's why the key was in here. Um, you just hit this button right here, and then the roof goes up and then goes back. You can see. And it goes all the way back. Thankfully, it works. And then uh, hit forward. It's going to stop once. It has like a stop, so um, right there. And it's just uh, so you, if you want to open it a little bit. And then it closes. Yeah, so easy. And then with that, you just slide this thing. And there you have it covered. So that works. And then this sunroof here works. You just put that down and... Yeah, and you're all set. So. Super Sambar DS2. So hopefully I'll have this. Uh, I know I'll have it in America in uh, early September. Okay, I'm driving a Subaru Sambar, and it's fast. I'm doing um, right now. I'm only. I'm doing. Uh, let me get my off. Uh, right now I'm doing about 60. And uh, this car has no issue doing 60, 70 miles an hour. I'm just, I'm very impressed. It's very powerful. Supercharger light doesn't come on. I'm not sure why, but it's fast. So I don't know what's up. Uh, maybe there's a, a something with the switch or, or uh, the light, but it's definitely faster than the other sound bars I've driven. So very happy. Yeah, I mean, it just, it's not even that loud. up with this car it's faster than it should be or more powerful so pretty nice <laughs> 